All right, next test, mu metal. So I have here some pieces of mu metal. That's a pretty thick chunk, huh? That comes out of a really big old hard drive. This is a more standard common hard drive. And uh, so the idea here to see if, if we can build some sort of a shield out of this stuff. So I currently have a piece of mu metal sitting on top of the uh, magnetizer. Now I'm basically going to set the magnet on top of here, magnetize it, and uh, see what happens. Looks like it magnetized our magnet. But I think it did shield some. This side's pretty weak. We'll check it. Alright, it's about 4.8 on one side and about 1.8 on the other side. Meter set at 20k. Now, this stuff is magnetic, so it's interesting how this shielding material really works, and I don't know if it'll work quite the same for. Uh, this type of setup. So I'm going to actually place a couple of these in a grid fashion to see if we can get any different results. Alright, so you can see I placed four of those two by two in a grid lying all across each other to see if we could disperse the magnetic field from uh, getting to our magnet. So let's see. Don't know about that. All right, we got about 4.4 and 1.04 ish on this magnet. So the next test is to leave an air gap between the mu metal and this magnet to see if it changes anything. This time with a small air gap between. Them. I don't think that was helpful either. Well that seemed to have about a half of the effect, so it's about half the same magnetization um, strength. We'll keep playing around. Let's just stack a bunch of these together and see how many we can get on there before this thing doesn't work right. Alright, well here's the test. I stacked them all on there and this time I'm not going to hold this. Let's see what happens. Hmm, didn't move. Interesting. Actually, it pushed it towards it. Definitely magnetized. Let's check the strength. Alright, we got 3.0 on one side and 0.5 on the other side. So now what we're going to do is just set up the same thing but with just an air gap to see what the gauss is when we're done. I'm curious, with no mu metal, just the core. Alright, well, just so you guys know, in this video, during this video, I am going to be holding this magnet in my hand while I'm magnetizing it. Don't be alarmed, don't be concerned, don't freak out. It's really okay. I've been doing enough experiments to uh, understand the risks and hazards involved here, so that's my disclaimer. There it is. That's the same height as the Mu metal. I am going to hold it this time because I don't want to go flying off.
very, very weak. Let's check it. All right, Gauss meter shows us 0.22 on either side, so it's nicely magnetized, and uh, it's about equivalent on each pole. So indeed, the mu metal actually helped us in this situation, which is rather interesting, actually. Um, the mu metal actually focused the flux enough to uh, to basically allow it to magnetize at a decent strength all the way up from the the height where normally. Um, you can see from that last test it barely sticks to this new metal so interesting results I don't really know what to think of that but uh, there they are more research to be done I assume what's up everybody so just so you know I just want to tell you what the magnetic shielding uh, usually does in an application so in most applications magnetic shielding is designed to actually absorb the flux and um, whenever the flux goes away, it gets to release the flux without being magnetized. So this is um, copper, cobalt, nickel, and something else, iron. I believe those are the components of mu metal. Could be wrong. Um, but anyway, shielding material is designed to soak up the flux. So basically, um, this material This material, these are designed in such a pattern, this is actually woven, so that it really tries to cancel out the flux, it soaks it up. And that's the idea behind this type of stuff. So when I try to magnetize something, and I've got a stack of mu metal, basically the flux just goes straight through it, and uh, out comes a nice field. So that's why that, that magnet magnetized. So um, anyway, so the shielding that I need is slightly different, and or a different configuration to make sure it's non um, aiding of the process and actually doing its job so just some thoughts just want to share with you guys you know some people may wonder this is magnetic shielding why is it magnetic well that's part of the problem with magnetic shielding um, from my experience trying to do certain applications um, such as passing this next to a magnet to shield it well it creates its own eddy currents and it's attracted to it and all sorts of bad stuff so there's an answer for you just thought I'd share that with you in case you you didn't know